Hello all you folks. So, welcome to part two of this five part series called Mario's Medicine. We're going to continue where we left off. I have the five pages we're going to look at right here. We're going to look at five pages per part. And there's three, uh, three power-ups on each page. So, that means that we're going to do 15 power-ups each part. So that means, there, this is, that means that there's 75 power-ups in all. Well, once we get to part five, I'm gonna throw you in for a loop because there's not quite that many. But uh, I'll explain when we get to part five. Yeah, you know you're gonna have to be patient. But anyways, so carrot. Uh, please ignore that. That's just my dog walking in the leaves outside. But anyways, um, so yeah, I probably haven't heard of this one. Um, it was in Super Mario Land two and. Um, makes you, allows you, sorry, allows you to jump much higher. It's so basically just Mario but with bunny ears or something. And I think that was the only game it was ever in, and if you don't own a Game Boy, which who does at this point, then, you know, you're probably not going to have heard of this one, unless, you know, you've looked at the Mario Wiki, but anyways. Alright, Invincibility Leaf. Makes you invisible for one entire level. Cool. Um... So, let me tell you a story real quick. I'm, I'm going to try to go as fast as possible because, you know, we need to get focused on the power-ups. But uh, a long time ago, we were talking about the invincibility relief in art class, and the teacher was like, well, isn't the point of a game to, like, have there be a challenge or something? How is it fun if it's just, if you, can, you can't lose? Well... You do have a point, I just... Somehow, Nintendo knows how to make fun games and have them be extremely easy. I don't know how they do that, but they do. They're just really skilled, and they know what they're doing, so... And you're not kind of totally invincible. I mean, you can still die from touching lava or falling off pits or getting crushed or anything like that. So yeah, invincibility in my butt. But anyways, moving on. Okay, Boomerang Flower. Allows you to throw projectiles that come back to you. That's cool. Um, so it's almost like the fire flower, except instead of it going in a straight line, it'll go that way and then this way. So anyways, yeah. All right. Um, power balloon. Uh, is that what it's called? Well, that's what it says, so whatever. We're just going to call it that. Um, but anyways, um... Makes you float upward so you can reach really high areas. It, it, what does that say? It wears off after a while. Okay, yeah. All right. Cool. And as I said before, Super Mario Galaxy, you're supposed to be big Mario instead of small Mario. But anyways, so anyways, um, Life Mushroom gives you three extra health points. That's lit. Okay, Penguin Suit. Gives you all the abilities of Ice Flower, plus you can slide on your belly. Cool. Alright. Um, Rock Mushroom. And you can see I must have smeared my finger right there one day, because it's kind of, you know, smudged. But anyways, um, turned you into Rock Mario and lets you roll around, crush enemies, and knock over giant objects. Pretty cool. This one, this one, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying I'm sure or anything, so keep that in mind. But this might be one of my favorite power-ups in the whole Mario series. It's called the Double Cherry. Gives you a clone. You can have up to four of them, five Mario's in all. I don't know why, but the fact of me playing as a bunch of Mario's at once or a bunch of whoever is pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, Spring Mushroom. Uh, sorry. It's piece of something right there. Um, spring Mushroom. Makes you bounce around uh, and lets you reach high areas. Okay. Moving on. Propeller Mushroom. Lets you propel upward to the top of the screen. That's pretty cool. Um, here's a duplicate. Uh, 
one up heart, which is the same as a one up mushroom, except it was a heart. Because, let me explain. So, on the Game Boy, the, there was only like four different colors they could choose from. There was like light, black, gray, and light gray. So, they obviously couldn't make a mushroom, and because that would make, look too similar to the regular mushroom. So, they created the heart instead, just so they would know what the difference, but, you know, they would know, oh wait, this is the one up, and not the super mushroom, but anyways. But it's the same as the super one up mushroom, gives you an extra life, basically, the Game Boy is equivalent of a one up mushroom. Okay, moving on, statue leaf. Turns you into a statue so that enemies can't hurt you. Now, I've had some people at school be confused about this one because they were like, "Well, if you're a statue, how do you like get out? How do you move or anything?" No, it it doesn't turn you 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 turn into a statue at will. You don't it doesn't immediately turn you into a statue. It just it lets you it it allows you to turn into a statue, but you can go in and out as much as you please. So, yeah. All right, last page. Goomba mask M makes enemies think you're one of them. Pretty clever. One of the m more unique power ups. But anyways, Yoshi egg. Yeah. Now some people would say Yoshi's not a power up. He's a character, but. I, th I would consider it a power-up because you can find it in a, you can find it in a, uh, question block, but, anyways, um, lets you ride on Yoshi, he can run much faster than you and eat enemies with his tongue, alright, let's, what does this say, do not draw buttons on back, okay, yeah, that's just sure telling my future self not to draw buttons on the back here, but, but it's already colored in, so how am I going to draw buttons on the... Oh, whatever. Okay. Last one for today. Boost Star. Let you destroy blocks and kill enemies using the Wii U gamepad. Or by tapping the Wii U gamepad. Alright. Well, that was this part. And we're not even halfway done yet. So, I will see you guys in part 3. There's so many power-ups across so many Mario games... But anyways, yeah, so I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.